hello guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to create a, a weight converter tool uh, which is just going to convert pound to kgs so I think you all have seen um, the Google converter where we can convert pound to kilogram so this is what we are going to do and we are going to create a swing GUI application uh, using Eclipse so before we kick on to the uh, mini project if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do uh, it's a simple enough subscribe button please please hit that button and let's jump back to the project so uh, first I'm going to create a new Maven project so I'm going to do file new and then I'll go to other and then here I'll do Maven maven project so I'll create a simple project and I'll do org dot projects and uh, weight converter to hit finish and then I'll just open my palm dot XML here so uh, in the last video um, I created a height converter tool so I will put the video description link uh, video link in the description box so uh, I might forget that so if I uh, if I do forget that part uh, feel free to um, go through my channel you can find a video with the title height conversion tool so what we are going to do is uh, there also I did the same thing we are going to use this flat LAF library and this is a library uh, for a pretty good good UI interface which you can see here in the display so I'll just use the maven dependency to download this jar so I'll just copy this and I'll paste it here but we are missing dependencies tag I'll paste it and then I'll do format so when this is done it is going to create a maven dependency for me right so now i just have to create a new uh, application window so to do that i'll go to other and then i'll type window and we'll use this one i'll again use the package as um, org dot converter and here i'll just do weight converter so that's it so it is going to create a default implementation for me and this is what we have now I'm going to do few customization but first let me show you what we have by default so this frame comes here not at the center and I don't want this um, this title uh, bar thing so I'll remove this also but at the end so first I will create uh, a frame and then I'll make few more customization so when it comes to design what do we need uh, we need um, a box which is going to get the input and we need a box where it is going to generate the output and then we need a button right so that is all that we need so I'll just first expand this to make it more bigger and I'll I will put the height uh, okay so let me do via this so this is going to be my frame and you can change the size here so I'll just do thousand and here I'll do 400 okay so now I like to do a partition so what I will do is on uh, this frame uh, I'll partition it in two part so first uh, to do this I'll use my J panel and but before we do that I have to change the layout to absolute layout then I'll use J panel and put it here okay and then I'll expand this so this is uh, too much width 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 800 okay so now look, this looks good and for this one uh, what I'm going to do this is I'm going to put width also as 400 and height also as 400 right now frame height should be 400 but that will be uh, managed later so don't um, think about that part just now now we need another J panel here and I'll increase this size too and this should be also 400 by 400 so I'll go here and I'll change this to 400 and this one to to 400 okay looks good so now uh, we have two partition now what I'm going to do is here I'm going to have uh, the conversion uh, where actually it is going to do my stuff like here I'm going to have uh, an input box here another output box and in between a convert sign right so let's do that so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to change the layout because uh, that's needed and then I'm going to add a label here and then I need an input box so text field uh, text field should be down here then I need a button so okay button and then I need another text field okay so now let's modify them so first I'll change the font uh, so this uh, is like a title so this one should be in bigger fonts so let's come down here make it bold and somewhere 30 now I'll change the text here with converter can do tool also it's up to you horizontal align as center now if you cannot see this it's because we haven't made it bigger now I can see this but I have to expand it more right looks good enough now we need another button where I will put uh, a cross icon so that we can close this window through that so first let me make this still here right, I'll expand this button to Okay, this doesn't look good uh, let me change this a bit um, I think the previous implementation was okay okay so I'll just expand this a bit okay expand this one too and we'll put this somewhere at the center okay now I'll increase this till here and this one till here put the bottom at middle right now we need a label here increase this and change this out center this one font should be 20 and label will be LBS for pound right 
and what I will do is I will change the font of this one to to 20 and same goes for this one 20 right here we need another uh, let's do one thing let's delete this one copy this paste this here and let's do the same for this one put it here and change the label to kgs okay so looks good enough now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a cross sign here and here i'm going to put uh, a poster so you can use any tool uh, which seems good enough for you to create poster but i prefer canva and i have already created a poster so first to import a poster here what we are going to do is we are going to need a component so i'm just going to get a j label for me but uh, first i have to set the layout to absolute layout and now i can have my label here uh, what happened okay and then i'll expand this right so the dimension should be 400 by 400 so if you are creating a, f a poster just keep this width and height in mind because that should be concise enough and here i don't need any label so i'm going to delete this now comes the most important part icon so here i'm going to import from absolute path and then i'm going to go at my desktop and weight converter inside i have this poster I'm going to import this okay and now let's see how it is looking so it doesn't fit accurately also um, button doesn't work uh, fine uh, even after we imported the library so we'll check at that part too but let's take care about this first so what i'll do is i'll do few customization here so before uh, if if you haven't looked at my previous video um, you can see a lot of details here like how you can use this library so like here you can see getting started so this is what you need so for me i already know so i'm not going to uh, go with that part i'll just write the code so if we are importing an uh, outside library which means that which doesn't comes by default with our uh, library flat laf and the libraries coming by default are these ones you can see so if they are not the ones then you have to uh, import in your project so now I'm going to do that part so I'll just go to this and I'll just import this right so you need a JSON file with this library so that's why I imported this then I'll use this class uh, IntelliJ theme and then I'll use the method so setup uh, install is recommended by the documentation but it's deprecated so we should use setup and then here I'm going to do my class which is weight converter dot class dot get resource as stream and here I'm going to provide uh, the JSON file name so I'll just do slash get hub dot theme json so now you will see the differences so if i run this so you can see now this looks good right everything got changed but the button part we have to handle but you can see like it it looks good it looks better than the previous one now let's put this frame to the center and remove this title bar 
okay so um, I, I'll do one more thing before we do that I'll come back to design and change the background color of this side okay so first just do a few customization here so first I'll make frame at center so to do that you just have to do set location relative to null we don't want this location in relation to anything now this will put the frame at the center now we don't need the title bar so to do that you just have to do set undecorated to true so by default it's false so now let's try to run this so now if you see this doesn't uh, came at the center but um, the title bar is gone right so let's fix that part so it came at the center what we have to do is we have to put this at the end of the fr uh, frame configuration so it's working it's coming at the center as you can see now uh, the problem is that if I go to my desktop this doesn't uh, looks good because this doesn't come up to the mark so I'll modify this okay so the problem why this is not working is simple because this design if you see the dimension is of 363 by 363 and that's why you should always um, have the poster of the same size of your panel so this one I have created for 400 for 400 by 400 so I'll just change this come out of my advanced properties I can browse and then I'll choose this one okay it fits perfectly so let's save this and let's run it now so as you can see it fits perfectly and this looks good now I'll modify button and then I'll create a cross to close this okay so what we are going to do is first we are going to import a button here right now uh, in the button I'm going to have an icon which is going to be this close window right now um, if you see the dimensions of this image so it's 50 by 50 which is what I'm going to do here so I'll just do 50 and 50 now what we are going to do is we are going to slide it to the edge and then this doesn't comes up at the center and also uh, the border thing is bad so we'll change that but first let's remove the text right so it made it at the center now we remove the border so I'll go to the advanced properties and I'll go up to border and here I will do no border okay and now let's make it working so double click on this and when we click on this item we should exit so I'll just do exit 0 and let's try this okay so if I close this it should okay so it's working now I'll modify this button I'll make it bigger and name it convert I'll change the font to size to 20 okay 20 is bigger but that's what we need so I'll make this little bigger right looks good now uh, let's change the background color of this one <coughs> So to change the background color, I'll come out and if you see this is panel underscore one. So for panel underscore one, where are we? This is where we are. 
so we yeah, I'm just going to do uh, panel one dot set background and here I'll do new color now I'm going to provide a RGB so I have already saved that part so what you're going to do is you need to uh, keep in mind that um, your combination should work that's the only thing so if you are choosing yellow then choose a color which should look good and it depends on you whatever you want right so I'll paste it here and import this one and let's see how it's looking okay so I guess I chose the different color let me see what did I do wrong okay I missed 9 here okay so we are if you are not seeing much differences that because um, it's a lighter color and right if you try to add this you can see but uh, I'll make this one also at the center and here also the output should come at the center so now let's do that part so to do that we just have to do center and here also we have to do center and this one should not be editable so I'll just uncheck this and here the color should be concise like it, it is black so that's okay and and what do we need um, yeah we need to uh, make this convert working right so I'll just click on this and conversion uh, is already known to us that one pound is this so I'll just copy this oops okay so now we have to play with double so first I'm I need to get um, the text value uh, of the first variable so let's do that okay so I will first fetch the value of our first text field because that's where we are going to in input and I'll then do the conversion and output it here so the variable name you can see here also but you have created one or two you might already know the names so I'll just do uh, text field dot get text so this is going to come in the format of string so I'll just need to convert it to double dot double dot parse double and something went wrong okay okay so now we will add it to a variable let's say uh, lbs okay now we need to do the conversion I have already copied this value so we need to multiply it by lbs and that's your kgs so i'll just create a variable again kgs equals to this right now we just need to set it to the second field which is text field one so we'll just do text set and here we need to convert it back to string so i'll use string dot value of and here i'm going to provide kgs and now let's try this out so if I insert anything here let's say 10 if I can convert it it looks good right as you can see it's working fine so this is it for the core you can do few more customization like um, you can change uh, this round uh, uh, this border to round you can curve it right now it's square in shape right so you can do a lot of customization but this is it for this video 
i hope i was able to teach you something new and if i did don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will meet you in the next video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye